What's going on, everybody? My name's Axel, and welcome to Coed Stunt School. Here, I'll be teaching you how to throw coed stunts. In this video, we'll be going over some basic dismounts. More specifically, we'll be going over some cradles. These are the straight cradle, funny cradle, and single down. Firstly, we have the straight cradle. For this, you will need a spotter to catch the cradle with you. The base will pop up from whatever body position they are holding and spot for the flyer's hips. You will catch with one arm on your flyer's back and the other on their thighs. Your spotter will also catch in these spots, but from the other side. Make sure to catch high and make the landing as soft as possible for your flyer. Flyers just lift up as you pop while rotating to the cradle position. Make sure to catch yourself on those catching you and keeping your hollow body position, not allowing your hips to fall through the middle. The single down is a straight cradle plus a twist. This means the base should be treating it as such. We still dip with our legs and pop off high, but we add a slight twist to help initiate the spin. When looking at the foot, the twist should happen clockwise, then catch the same. For the flyer, you'll be riding the pop off before lifting your right hip up and over and bring your arms down to your left hip. If doing this from an arabesque, you will want to square off to the front before bringing your right hip over. After spinning once, you should open up and catch like the straight cradle. For the funny cradle, we change up a few things. For the base, you will want to pop and guide the spin like you would a full around, but sweep the feet slightly to the left. You will then reach up and catch your flyer as they fall into the cradle. Now from this cradle position, there are a few ways to get out. You can let out your flyer, you can do a three quarter out, or you can do what is called a sexy set out. For the three quarter out, you will pop up, standing your flyer more with your right arm and slightly initiating their spin into you. You will want to catch your flyer when they face the front and guide them to the ground. For the sexy set out, you will bump your flyer's right leg up over your head to hook your neck. You will then push their left leg down to the other side of your body while bracing their back. You will then let the flyer out through a back walkover. For the flyer, on the funny cradle, the idea is that you ride the pop like a full around with a slower spin. Then, when you get to the halfway point and see your base, you will sweep your feet to your right and catch your base. From here, we have the ways of getting out of the cradle that we mentioned before. For the three quarters out, you will want to lift and stand up as your base pops you up. Your spin will turn into your base, but be careful not to overspin. Your goal is to stand and do a three-quarter spin to your highest point so the base can grab and resist you to the ground. For the sexy set out, just kick your right leg up over your base's head and let them stand you up by pushing your leg down and grabbing your base's neck or shoulders to keep your chest up. When they let you out, reach back into a back walkover. As safety is our top priority, you should always have a spotter when learning any new skill. This is someone who will help the base catch the flyer if anything goes wrong. You should have a spotter on any basic skill until you can do that skill without any risk of a bad fall. It's important to remember as noted above, cradles from a straight cradle or a single down require a spotter. For any feedback, it can be very helpful to attend a stunt class at a local gym, attend a stunt clinic for a co-ed team, or do stunt privates with anyone local with some decent experience with co-ed stunting. If none of these are an option for you, I would be happy to give you some feedback. Just send us a video of your stunting on YouTube to our Instagram page at Coed Stunt School or our Facebook page. If you liked today's video, please give us a thumbs up below. And if you want to see more videos on learning how to stunt, make sure to hit that subscribe button and bell. And always remember to hit your stunts.